Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries I have for you another as seen on television product. Today we're trying this thing. Brand new on the as seen on television market. You need flexible mirror. I'm actually really excited about this because you can stick it anywhere. I mean <laughs> you don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Like I meant like suction it to anything sometimes i gotta pick my words right because sometimes i say the wrong word and then you know the bendable light up magnification mirror that comes to you the infomercial says you can suction this guy to any flat smooth surface log it onto any mirror table or desk so i got all kinds of surfaces today to suction this thing on now you'll see here i have this giant glass frame we're gonna suction it to that. I got a table over there because in the infomercial, the lady lifts a table with this thing because the hold or the suction is so good. Look how strong it holds. This thing is like amazing. I mean, look at the packaging, it's pretty good, right? The flexible mirror has 10 times magnification. 10 times magnification and crystal clear optics. It has an LED light in it. It is seven inches in diameter and it has this little flexible arm that I wanna see how long it is because if it can't reach my face, it doesn't matter if I can suction it to everything, right? Now my bathroom, my counter and my mirror are very far apart. So in that infomercial, even though that girl looks a little dramatic, like leaning over the fucking counter to get to the mirror, that's my life. That's me every morning. Tired of struggling with regular mirrors that don't adjust so you can't get close enough? We're gonna test it good. This thing was $19.99, which I don't think is too bad if all the claims in that infomercial are accurate. I wanna test the suction. I wanna test the little flexible arm. I wanna test the LED light. I'm gonna test all kinds of things. We're gonna thoroughly check this thing like I always do in every video. Now there are a couple of parts in that infomercial where they're doing the mostest. One of those is the girl is putting eyeliner on, which is normal. We all do it. <laughs> but she's putting on red eyeliner. And I'm like, is that an 80s look, a 70s? I can't figure out what generation used red eyeliner. They said that you can use this to help you accessorize your outfit. Not so much, it's too small. And accessorizing easier than ever before. I mean, the infomercial, they, they did the mostest, but there are some things that I'm like, mm-hmm, that's my life. I want that. What if I'm at Starbucks and I need a mirror with an LED light? Can I put this on the table? What if I'm at the store at the bathroom and I need a mirror with a light? I mean, what if I'm in the car and it's dark? Can I stick this somewhere? Uh, sure, because it says any flat surface. When you put a claim out like that, any surface, we gotta test it. That's just part of the game. Fingers crossed that this thing is not cheapy plastic, okay? And a, just a little dim light. This is gonna piss me off. Here we go. Oh, wait a one thing in that infomercial is they're talking about that stretching that arm out. That better be at least 12 inches. Everybody wants that. Don't give me no three inches. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't need your stupid suction mirror, if that's the case. Length matters. And just <laughs> Look how fancy that is. Let's stretch it out. What do you guys think? Let's measure it. Just for kicks, holy shit. <laughs> they heard me. It's 12 inches. What? <laughs> From the tip to the... <laughs> I want to fucking roll and we're only like a few minutes into this video. But girl, girl and boys. <laughs> All right. I like the length. Let's see what it looks like standing up. Oh, girl. Look at that. <laughs> that is a good salute. Hello, sir. <laughs> what kind of review are we doing here? I'm just saying. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> 12 inches full 12 inches congratulations he's a keeper <laughs> the suction cup looks different from in the infomercial the infomercial one looks really like modern and kind of like a faucet another reason i love this is because you don't have to drill shit into your walls right this one you can move around so if you're in a different bathroom or somebody's in your bathroom, you can move it around. I'm excited about that. Horizontal or vertical. Assemble the mirror by snapping the ball into the socket as shown. Mine wasn't, so we can remove this. Let's see. Ooh, yes, you can. Mine was already assembled. Who, who, who touched mine? I don't know why we need so many instructions. It's a mirror. There's a door for your batteries. Let's install those. 
and now we will put the little thing back mm -hmm. it's too small here it says that it is a seven inch diameter is that including the led light and the little outside trim thing that's not gonna work like i need seven inches of mirror okay let's measure it because that <gasps> that's not cute i need seven inches of mirror the mirror is too damn small we gotta get all this beauty in there okay it's five inches let's take out the foldable mirror you guys remember this flexible mirror is bigger but it is not bigger mirror wise the actual mirror in both of these is the same let's go ahead and turn on the led light high medium low i was gonna go like that do y'all usually add water wet the surface before suctioning something i think that's what you're supposed to do right that's what i do <laughs> there's no licking involved here or water no wet surface here just a flat surface that's all they're saying so you're just gonna stick it on and twist this little head right here everything's a head huh twist this little knob <laughs> Just stick it on and turn the face. It's on. Now we're gonna twist. Because of the magnification on the mirror, your face is gonna have to be about that close. If you're trying to be here, it's not gonna happen because the magnification part of this thing makes it distorted. You gotta get up close and personal. So just keep that in mind. If your counter is long and 12 inches is still not good enough, I'm gonna say if your counter is more than 13, you might not be able to use this mirror unless you just put it on the counter because they said that in the infomercial too. So you can put it on a flat surface and then just... <laughs> the super suction locking mechanism means you can put it on any smooth surface place. You can put it on a flat surface and there you go and wiggle it around right up on your face if you don't wanna put it on the mirror. I did want to test to see if we hung it and pulled on it a little bit, if that worked. Secret is flexible mirror's super strong articulating arm. I want to see if it holds if I pull it down. I'm testing the suction technology on this thing. Twist it. Got it. This is very professional. Let's see. Let's break the mirror, why don't we? The suction is good. I'm gonna say this test passed. Let's try it now on a wall because it's any surface. Use it in the shower, even on a window. It's not glass or a mirror. Lock it. Is it on? Uh-oh. Let's try it over here where there's no paint. All right, it's on the surface. Lock it. It's not grabbing it at all. Nope. So we're gonna go ahead and say the claim of any flat surface is not accurate. It failed this test. I'm gonna just suction it to my desk so that we can work with it here. It fell on me. The claim of any surface. Okay, let's let's do it one more time. Get it good right there. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to lick it. No. So I'm gonna turn on the LED light so that you guys can see how much it brightens my face. It's high, medium, low, off. What do you guys think? Let's turn off the lights so that we can really see how bright this thing is. Here's high, medium, low. This is the flexible mirror and it's kind of not fair because it has the LED on both sides, but just for comparison. Now let's test to see how good the suction is. Again, not on glass, not a mirror, on a flat, smooth surface, because in that infomercial, the lady said the suction is so good, you can lift a freaking little end table. So the table lifting experiment failed let's try this piece of glass just in case they meant to say glass this is a damp paper towel i will clean the suction cup again put it right there lock it this doesn't weigh anything compared to the little table ready one two three go okay so it lifted this so i'm gonna say the claim is not any surface just glass unlock it take it off so here are my final thoughts on this thing if you're gonna put it on a counter like this 
then don't touch it. Like position it and then leave it alone. I think it's gonna work best on a mirror or a glass, not so much any surface, but if you don't, see? Need both hands, but you don't have a stand? The actual mirror itself is actually only five inches, which is small and you're gonna have to be really up close. Like right there, it's perfect for me. If I'm looking at myself at this distance, I can't, it's just too magnified. Now, if I get up like this, now I can see the details. I'm disappointed on not being able to use it on any surface. If you have to like be at the kitchen table doing your makeup, uh, yeah, you can't put this. You have to put it on your laptop screen because this is not gonna work just on the table. I do like that it has three settings for the light. The little flexible arm feels really nice. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like it will hold whatever position you have it in. I like the little lock feature down here at the bottom, but it doesn't work very good. So with all that said, I'm gonna give my flexible mirror two Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool ass seen on television product and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Look at that. I'm so over it. Not cute.